Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Gifted Monkey TV, all things toy and toy related. I'm your host, Jordan Preston. And when we come back, we're gonna take a look at two action figures from the Mattel toy line of Batman v Superman that's sure to knock you out and your collection too. Hey guys, and keeping with the promise of the awesomeness, here we are from Mattel, the seven and a half inch figures. Wow, highly detailed figures from Batman v Superman, the motion pictures. We have Batman in his regular Batman garb, and we have the armored up Batman when he gets ready to do battle with the Man of Steel. Let's take a look at one of these boxes, and we'll take a look at both of these figures one at a time. Well, guys, keeping with the promise, look at this. This is fantastic. Now, there's a lot of good first times coming in from Mattel with this action figure line here from the B Batman v Superman movie. First off, Mattel is introducing us to what they call the multiverse. The multiverse. And it says here on the back, DC Comics multiverse figures are inspired by comic book-based character-rich entertainment sources such as movies and video games. These figures are meticulously designed to be truly authentic, celebrating the many universes of entertaining DC Comics material. So now we see they're broadening, Mattel is broadening their line and DC is broadening their line, not just toys and action figures anymore from the comic books. They're going full tilt on everything that could because they get, had such big hits with the DC video video games and with the DC movies that are now starting to come out, they broaden their perspective. I love that. We see a nice red and black box. On the bottom we see a, a depiction of Ben Affleck as Batman right there. We see the DC logo with the little flap over. We see the Batman v Superman logo right here. It says, uh, Collector and Connect. The Grapnel Blaster Replica. That's another thing that DC is doing new with this line is that if you remember the movie, um, the movie masterpieces they used to have for the Batman Begins and Batman and Dark Knight series uh, trilogy, they didn't have connect things. But these are now connected pieces. If we go to the back, we see it connects and makes a blaster. If you get all of the figures, you get the Superman, the Batman, the Wonder Woman, and the Armored Batman, they connect. They have pieces in them that connect to make this cool blaster, and they show you the numbers of which pieces make to connect. That's very cool. We see the Batman logo in the back. See that this is the Batman figure. We see again the figures that you can collect. All this indicia on the bottom from DC and the movie. Nice. And it says figures five to six coming soon. When I was in the store, I saw the, um, the Batman and the Superman. I didn't see a Wonder Woman yet. And they have a special Superman, a battle called something called a battle ready or full, full out battle Superman. And his cape is different and his S logo is different. He's kind of different design than the basic Superman, which is really cool too. On the side, we see a bigger, bigger uh, depiction, artist depiction of Ben Affleck as Batman. We see in here, they give a little synopsis of the movie, Batman v Superman, how Batman uh, is worried about an alien who can destroy the planet with that much power. He takes it on his own as he protects Gotham to protect the world and to challenge Superman and see what the aliens about that's a little synopsis they put on the side over there which is really nice on the other side we see Batman v Superman and the logo and on the bottom we see just more Mattel indicia very good stuff and we see a nice clear shot in that box I like that box you see everything nothing's hitting no pieces of cardboard covering legs and arms and stuff too much just nice let's open the box and see what we got Okay guys, first off, before we even get into some of the things with this box, I wanna say on the back earlier I read it was five to six. It's not. Uh, figures number five to eight are coming out soon. So that's even better for us. So sorry I made that mistake earlier. Also, because I plan to put this back in the box and collect this and I keep most of my uh, smaller figures in their boxes. That's a little tip for you collectors. Um, I'm gonna just show you this, the uh, grapnel gun stand and I'm not gonna take it out and pull all the things off that secure it and just show you. In the back you see that grapnel stand there. That's the stand that goes for the grapnel gun that we saw on the back. The stand that's on the bottom right there is what we get with this Batman. There's a little yellow stand there that keeps the grapnel gun in check. And that's that. And you also get a nice bright yellow and, and um, orange uh, drawing of like a globe shot 
to in the back as the backdrop. So very cool. I just wanted to say that. So now let's take a look at the figure. Batman's articulation is pretty straightforward for a seven inch action figure. His head can go full rotation all the way around. Now there's no, there's no, very little up and down give on it. It can do it a little bit, but it goes up about that much, down about that much. As you see, it's hardly any. It's restricted by that neck movement and where the cowl and the neck connect. Uh, his cape is affixed right to him. It doesn't rotate or move at all, neither does the cowl, lower cowl part. It's affixed in the sculpting, so that's stiff. It gets shoulder rotation about that high on both sides. Has a bicep swivel on the top of his bicep. Arm bend, not a double joint arm, so the arm goes down and back about that much and go up, goes up to that much and is cut by right there. You do get wrist rotation, full wrist rotation, and wrist turns totally around. There is no wrist swivel, so there is no in and out on the wrist, just straight ahead there. Uh, the, the gauntlet or his forearm does not swivel or turn either, and it's the same with the left hand. Swivel, Full rotation, rather, on the wrist, no swivel, and the gauntlet doesn't move. I'm wondering if they have that cut, if his glove is cut like that in the movie, or were they just lazy at Mattel and put that joint cut in there so you can bend the arm up and back, because that looks kind of weird. But maybe that's how the glove is cut for his forearm in the movie. Haven't seen it yet. Uh, let's see. He has a weird ab crunch, too. His ab crunch doesn't crunch deep. That's about as far down as he bends. Isn't that weird? He has an actual cut there, but his waist only bends down that deep. The legs bend down the rest, but his waist from his stomach only bends down that much. It goes back up about that much. So that's kind of weird. No waist turn at all. There's no waist cut. No turn in the waist at all. The utility belt is a fixed to his body so it doesn't swivel or turn either. Legs, you get a nice Van Damme split like that. No double cut in the knee either, so the knee goes back about that much. And when you pull it back all the way, it kind of bends out to the right, like that. So there we go. Same with the left. There is no turn or cut in the calf area, straight down, a sculpted boot, and the Feet can go back about that much, that much down, so you get a little bit of uh, swivel down there, but there is no pivot in the ankle. Doesn't rock or turn or anything. So that's that. You get nice little scallops on the back, on the bottom of the boots to give you nice little scallops, to give you nice little uh, grips on the boots. Those are good. And that's about, the, that's about the movement of the Batman figure. See those joints cut in the side, too, which is kind of interesting, too, how they cut this guy uh, to make him. Let's take a look at the figure overall. Taking a look at the detail on this figure, Mattel did a good job. They're doing a really nice job. They're taking some care and showing some love to this movie property of the Batman v Superman franchise. Uh, very nice. Uh, you see that nice sculpting on the helmet has a little bit of, of grit around it, like it's a different texture than the rest of the cowl and the rest of the cape. There's a nice little texture to it. They have the small bat ears like in the movie. You see Ben Affleck's eyes. And you do get a little Ben Afflickness. Is that a word I made up? You get a little Ben Afflickness in that face. You can actually see him as he's depicted in a movie in that face. That's really good for the sculptor for that size and for that toy line, Mattel. We see the, actually the actual logo is that big fat bat logo based on like the Dark Knight Returns type of logo. And also uh, it has a different texture than the rest of the uniform also. It has like a Kevlar type feel to it, very meshed in there. Uh, the suit has nice uh, little indentations of a suit going on somebody's body. You see that? Got nice little ab work in there. Very good. Nice little washes of gray through here, too. Really nice. And you can the eyes are really good how they did that. And the uh, expression on the bat mask is very nice. It's not a plain generic mask. They actually put some expression and attitude inside that mask, which is very nice. Uh, nice washes on the belt. The belt is black, but it has little washes of gold and yellow around it to give you that little uh, Batman flavor of a yellow belt. But it's, it's a deep gold, and it's deeply washed. So that's kind of cool. The gloves have have nice detail. Look at those gloves. They have nice detail in them. Very nice detailing in the gloves, which also different parts of them have different uh, textures. 
which is very cool. Mattel did some very nice stuff. I'm very happy with this line of this figure. And I'm used, I'm a guy who's used to collecting now uh, 12 inch figures, but this line is really nicely detailed. Even on the hand, you see the nice little studs for the knuckles they put on there. They painted them gold, very nice. As we move down to the pants, they did some nice little detailing pants work right in here. Now you gotta remember, this is just a, a regular basic figure, uh, ages three and up. So for that, for that type of stuff, it's really nice detail that Mattel took the time to do that. And here you can see where they put the joints on the knees, they covered it up pretty nicely. Doesn't show that much. And the boots, going down to the boots, nicely different, again, different texture. And even on the front of the boots, I think this little, uh, these metal part of the braces on the front of the boot, I think they're supposed to be in a bat symbol. It looks like they want to be in a slight bat symbol, but they're very nice and they're done in dark gold. We're taking a look at the cape as we turn them around. The cape drapes very nicely, very nice. It's a rubberized cape, it's rubber. It's kind of a, or not hard rubber, but it's, it's a slightly pliable, it's not super soft. And it drapes very nice, comes right out of this. This doesn't tuck under, this is actually molded in one seam. So it's actually a mold that looks like it's tucked under this cowl piece, but it's actually sculpted in one piece. Very nice, and there are no scallops to speak of on this cape, but this rendition of Batman doesn't have scallops, he just has a long cape that's got little bits of tatter on the very end of it, but it drapes very nice. Very nice, this guy looks great. Now let's take a look at his buddy that came out today too. And here we are guys with the companion piece to this Batman line, also that just came out today, is the Batman Armored Batman. So this is a, t a depiction of Batman, how he looks when he begins to go up against the Man of Steel Superman in that portion of the movie. And this is a nice looking rendition of him. They also have a 12 inch version of him, which I'll uh, show you in another review. If you check down there, you'll see it's on there too. If we have a, a review of the 12 inch version of this guy right here. Um, very nice. And the box is pretty straightforward like the other Batman. Uh, Batman v Superman box that we showed shows a depiction though of ba armored Batman with the eyes lit up shows a little DC logo side it shows Batman v Superman got a nice red and black motif I like that colors nice dark and dark and ominous on the back it shows something new that Mattel is doing is the connected dots Connect the dot. Connect the uh, connect the fill, build a figure, which in this case, in this uh, series, it builds the grapnel gun, and it shows you the numbers. Shows you Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and our, what we're showing is our armored Batman. And coming soon, numbers five to eight. Figures five to eight coming soon. So more in that line. That's great. Here we have a nice artist rendition of the armored Batman with the lights lit up. Very nice. And it gives you a little synopsis of the story of Batman v Superman. And my camera can show that, you can freeze that at home and look at that. And there we go, and on the top it says the multiverse. Mattel has a new multiverse, which is good. And it's introducing the lines from everything, not just from the comics, but from video games and from movies. Since they're just starting to do movies now at DC, they're gonna hit hard with that. So let's open this guy and see what we got. This armored Batman comes with two accessories. Uh, it comes with the actual gun that Batman actual, actual the uh, rendition of the gun that Batman uses in the movie. Very nice. It's straightforward. It has nice detailing on it, but it doesn't have any paint detailing on it. It's just uh, that's a hard plastic. Nice checked textures all around it, and it comes with this piece of the grapnel gun, which I don't know what piece that is yet, but it's a piece of the grapnel gun. Nice. Now let's check out the articulation on our figure. This armored rendition of Batman looks so cool, but the articulation is really nice on it for a small figure. It doesn't give you much of it, it gives you a slight head rock. You're going to lock it about that much, that much. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. Uh, it gives you full rotation. If I can turn them around, there we go. Full rotation all the way around. It goes up about that much down about that much. So not a lot in that, but with this big honking armor, he's not going to be moving that fast or that much in the movie even anyway. Um, Arm-wise, they give you this. Shoulder goes up about that much, about that much, right and left. You get a nice bend on the arm. No double joint on the arm, just one single joint. So when it straightens out, that's as far back as it'll go. 
The gauntlets have a slight rotation on it. Right there, the wrists have a rotation on it, but there is no there is no swivel. There is no up and down bending of the wrist. It just stays straight, but you can swivel it around full rotation like that. Same with the left. Gauntlet swings, you get a mid-cut bicep, top bicep cut, and you get the rotation on the wrist. Ab crunch. There is no ab crunch on this guy to speak of. There is a cut up here on his, right on below his sternum. So you can get him to go lean up like that or bend down about this much. But that's where he stops, right about there. There is no cut in the waist. Oh, there is a cut, sorry. There is a cut in the waist, so the waist swivels all the way around 360. You get a nice Van Dam split like that. The legs going about that much. Up about that much, back, hindered by the movement of this hard rubber cape, but it can go all the way back if you wanted to. No double joint in the knees, but the knees get a nice bend up there about that much. And the feet, doesn't look like it, but the feet actually have a pullback like that. So you get a little bit of a, a swivel in that, but there is no side to side rock on the ankles. That's it. You can get a nice jumping pose. You can almost imitate that pose when the lightning strikes. <laughs> almost with that foot thing. That's pretty good. Very good. I like this guy. It's got a nice detail. It's a nice, uh, nice movement to him for a seven-inch figure. All right, let's take a look at what we got overall in this figure. Mattel really put some nice detailing in this this figure. For a seven inch figure, it has some great detailing. Uh, you can see some battle scars, damage, scratches, and bruises on this on this outfit. Uh, like it's not its first rodeo, like he's worn it before in battle, or maybe this has happened during the battle with Superman. But it really got some nice things. You also can see some attitude underneath that mask. I like that Mattel did that. Um, you see, there's no not a lot of washes and stuff on this, but the sculpting, the detailed sculpting of all the little pieces and mechanisms that go into this armor are all here and that's really great how they did that at Mattel on a seven inch figure usually when a figure's smaller they skimp on it and know at the end of the day Mattel is a toy company so their main purpose is to sell toys to kids so the fact that they gave us the collector some nice detailing in a seven inch line is really phenomenal and a great kudos to Mattel thank you, Mattel uh, you see the belt here has a nice little wash of gold on it to symbolize that yellow that always goes through traditionally through Batman's utility belts we got a nice little golden hit on the gauntlets. Nice there. Look at the lines in the gauntlets that go through right there on the bicep, even on the uh, shoulder guards. Very nice. Very nice. I like the way the cape drapes right into his neck over here for the guards. I like this part underneath here. The hands got nice detailing on them. We go down to the pants. The pants have nice little weathered looking detail on them too. We go down to the knees. They did a great job of, the, of hiding those bend joints in the knees. That looks great and natural um, and very nice. Here we see the nice calves that they did for the boots and the little gold hits on the little uh, bat uh, gauntlet sides too they put on the boots. That's very nice. And the boot itself, the foot of the boot looks great. Nice and thick. It looks really nice. They did a great job. As we turn around to the cape, the cape drapes very well, as you can see there, it really goes down. This is a hard plastic cape, uh, not that hard, it's got some malleableness to it, but it's a hard plastic cape. Uh, very nicely uh, realized how they did that cape. You even see on the side, it got a little bit of crease in it. No scallops on the Batman cape in this movie. This movie doesn't have a scallop cape, it's just straight edged. Very nice though, how they did that. Very, very, very nice. I'm holding him because he has a tendency to fall. It doesn't. Oh, these guys don't come with stands either, which is interesting. They don't come with any stands so far. None of the seven inch figures come with stands. They don't even have pegs in the feet. They don't even have holes in the feet for a stand, so that's kind of interesting that they did that. Good figure overall. Great job, Mattel. 
Well, there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed looking at these two figures from the Batman v Superman line from Mattel. I got to tell you, Mattel is knocking it out the park, and I'm a guy that lately hasn't collected a lot of 7-inch or below figures because I'm getting turned on to the hot toys and 12-inch figures and bigger figures, and these are really nice. The, the love and care that they show for this franchise really shows through on these figures with the sculpting and the detail that they put into them. I really think that's going to be great, and they have a Wonder Woman and a Superman coming out too as well based on the movie very good they also come in three sizes they have another one that's a little bit smaller and a little more simplistic looking in the sculpt coming out uh, which features Aquaman by the way spoiler alert and they're actually going to have uh, Wonder Woman in that line too and then they have the 12 inch line which is about this high and that has Batman Superman and Wonder Woman and they look fantastic if you look down on my reviews on our scroll down on my shows you'll see we already did a review of the 12 inch armored Batman this guy is really these guys are really fantastic look at these poses you can get them into very nice detail very nice let me know, are you guys going to buy any of these type of uh, action figures? Are you going to buy the 7-inch line? Are you going to wait and buy the Hot Toys line? Are you going to buy both? Hmm, should you get it? I'll tell you, yes. Because this is an iconic movie that's coming out. This movie's going to be a big hit. Whether, it, whether it's a good movie or a bad movie in quality, it's going to be a big success. It's also an iconic landmark for DC properties and us collectors. First time we've ever seen Batman and Superman together in a movie and Wonder Woman. So just on that investor collector opportunity alone and this is the first wave I would say get them put them away keep them in the box get one out of the box if you want to buy get two of the same take one out of the box keep one in the box because in the future when we look back these might be collector valuable figures because it's the first wave of a big major property so yes and also if you have kids and you want to buy play with them let the kids have them later on if you want these are really nice toys this will run you about uh, 1999 each. They run about 1999. They're at Toys R Us. I'm sure Target and Walmart will get them too. They just got released today. I was so glad I was walking through Toys R Us doing an exchange for a Christmas gift and they had these out. This is fantastic. So yes, I say these are great figures with how Mattel did them. They really look wonderful. Write down below and let me know if you're going to get them. Also check us out on Pinterest and Facebook because we have different photos and things on that medium that, than we do on our YouTube channel. And thanks for joining us. And remember Remember, collecting toys, even seven inch replicas of the Batman v Superman movie action figures from Mattel can be as fun as a battle of monkeys. But respect the monkey. Play nice. Take care, guys.